Recently, he ranked number two on Rolling Stone's list of the 101 best things about watching television. Once a week, he gets a taste of our jobs when he anchors Weekend Update. Please welcome Norm McDonald. I'm not worried. What the hell do I care? I worked on all my jokes. I got a lot of help from my writer, Don Imus. <laughs> Are you familiar? You know this guy? He's a funny guy. Drew Larlage is here, chairman of ABC News. A lot of crazy stories out of that division. <laughs> scandal after scandal. Last week, the certain gentleman in ABC News went to a party, got really drunk, and ended up having sex with his own wife. <laughs> Before I sip this coffee, sir, how much would a cup of coffee cost in a place like this? It's free? Okay, great. I didn't want to see $90,000 on my bill later. <laughs> I stopped at a museum. This is probably interesting to you guys. This news museum dedicated to broadcast journalism, and they have tributes to Edward R. Murrow and such. They have this one fascinating interactive display. Visitors can appear on camera and pretend they are real journalists. So far, it's been visited 20 times by Matt Lauer. Also today, I took a visit to the White House. Awe-inspiring, rich in history, so beautiful. Although I did notice an odd sign on the president's desk. It said, the yen stops here. Have you seen it? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> they say the White House is haunted. I thought this was kind of sad. Last night, President Clinton charged Abraham Lincoln's ghost 10,000 to sleep in his own bed. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. <laughs> is he laughing? Is he? Is he? <laughs> I was told to make this announcement. Table 10, we're sorry your waitress hasn't been there in a while. Larry King just married her. I can't believe I'm here with the most powerful man in the country, Alan Greenspan. The big story in Washington is the recent marriage between NBC's Andrea Mitchell and Alan Greenspan, who is 71 years old. This is sweet. They wrote their own vows. She promised to love, honor, and speak into his good ear. So that was... Weds are going to honeymoon in Mexico, and I thought this was sweet. Uh, as a gift to his new bride, uh, Alan Greenspan just devalued the peso so that they'll. That would be nice. <laughs> you are now handicapped and president of the United States. You must have an unbelievable parking spot. to be very close to the building. <laughs> you gotta hand it to the president. His injury is not holding him back from doing the business of the nation. He just nominated Major General Claudia Kennedy as the Army's first female three-star general. And I think that's great. She's doing a great job. Apparently, the only thing she's having trouble with is figuring out how to sexually harass herself. <laughs> What's that? Guy yells my name for no reason. Uh, oh, I have another announcement. The U.S. State Department has just issued a travel warning for all women moving past Dick Morris's table. It really has been a thrill for me. I joke around about the news, but you do the real thing. And I, for one, think you do a darn good job. As a matter of fact, I have a message from someone who couldn't be here and wanted me to read it to you. This is from Senator Bob Dole. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, to hell with all of you. You cost me the damn election. You can kiss my ass, every last one of you. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. <laughs>